In a moment, I'm going to reveal to you how you can have your own killer apps up and running in the App Store and making you money by next week, even if you have zero coding skills and don't have a clue how apps work. And believe me, if I can do this, so can you. In fact, it's all practically done for you. But first, I want to tell you the true story of how this all came about. How did I go from being just an ordinary guy working an ordinary 9 to 5 job to building an $800,000 a year business from scratch? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kwok Bui. I'm 30 years old and first started out my career as a software engineer. Back in 2008, my buddy Pat and I were playing a round of golf and we started talking about the insane amount of revenue that developers were making on the App Store. Being a couple tech geeks ourselves, we talked about how cool it would be to release our own app one day. That said, the very thought of creating an app and making it available for the entire world to use almost seemed impossible. Despite the fact that we'd always had a passion for the latest gadgets, Pat and I really didn't have a clue about iPhone app programming or where to start, let alone how to earn a life-changing income by selling iPhone apps. See, when you're working a 9-to-5 job and have very little spare cash, the thought of turning a simple idea into an $800,000 a year business seemed a little unrealistic, to say the least. Especially if you have no technical experience to even pull something like that off. So for the next few months, I never really gave much thought to it. Sure, I read a couple of books, but I didn't really have a lot of spare time and the whole programming thing seemed far too complicated anyway. And then came Christmas of 08. One evening, my roommate Richard and I met with a few friends at our local bar. Richard was a medical student at the time and is now actually a fully qualified doctor in Los Angeles. And there's a reason I'm telling you that, which I'll reveal in just a second. Anyways, we got talking and one of the topics of conversation was that ridiculous app iFart, this new iPhone app that was all the rage in the app download charts and had recently generated over $27,000 in sales in a single day. It was at this exact moment that I decided to begin my quest. After all, if someone could really make so much money from an app that plays silly fart noises, I knew that I could get a piece of the pie. One thing led to another and with my creative juices flowing and thanks to a few too many beers, I asked the waitress for a pen and started jotting down ideas on the nearest napkin. By the end of the night, we'd come up with an awesome idea for an app. We'd use Richard's medical knowledge to create a physical exam essentials guide for medical students and professionals. At the time, there wasn't really anything like it on the market. And with tens of thousands of apps selling for 99 cents and more these days, I figured we might be able to make some decent side money and split the profits 50-50. After all, you hear amazing stories of people raking in massive amounts of cash from iPhone apps such as iFart, Angry Birds, Doodle Jump. It really makes you start to dream. What if it was all possible? So over the coming weeks and months, I spent all my spare time reading books like The 4-Hour Workweek and literally poured over every single article, fact, and blog I came across in an attempt to discover how to create apps. I studied the techie stuff like programming and design, asked questions of experts, and was constantly on the lookout for any tips, tricks, or strategies that could help me along the way. But as inspiring and as informative as it all was, I have to admit that I almost gave up. It was simply too much to handle while working a full-time job. See, even though the web is full of tutorials and guides on how to make your own iPhone apps, they all seem to be aimed at coders and people who already know about mobile app development and programming. You'll know this if you've conducted research of your own. Now I'm sure there are some people out there who enjoy getting their hands dirty and creating their own stuff, but, and I'm sure you'll agree with me here, I for one did not want to sit tied to the screen all day fiddling with lines of code. I wanted results fast. The only problem was I didn't really know anything about the market and I had very little spare time to learn. And then, almost like a bolt of lightning, it suddenly hit me. There are people out there, experts in China, India, Malaysia, and the Philippines, making these iPhone apps every day. In most cases, they're literally being paid pennies to create high-quality apps for multi-million dollar media companies. I said, screw this. I quit my job and worked like a madman over the coming weeks to do everything in my power to make sure I was successful. And I actually did it. I built three app companies from the ground up in just two months all through the power of outsourcing. And over four years, an astonishing 70 apps and 45 million downloads later, I honestly have to say I haven't looked back since. See, like most things in life, it's amazing how easy it is once you know how. But instead of spending months, heck, maybe even years trying to figure everything out, you can simply hire a team of experts to do the hard work for you at a fraction of the cost. Initially, I was a little scared about the potential language barrier too, but it turns out that most of these guys actually speak better English than I do. It's a complete no-brainer. Outsourcing frees up time for me to focus on things like coming up with new ideas, revenue streams, and it means I'm no longer limited to what I can do with my own hands. But before we go any further, let me prove to you that this is real by showing you exactly how much I made from free apps 
in December of 09. And I'm not showing you this to brag or anything like that. I'm simply trying to show you that it is possible. 